Maki. Maki. Who likes air conditioning? And my cat right in front of the air conditioner. Maki, who likes air conditioning? You do. Maki likes air conditioning. Getting out a bunch of my Warhammer stuff. Who's a good boy, Maki? Maki sushi. Mmm, Maki sushi. Say hello to YouTube. Ooh. What up, players? Wobot's Tay up in this mood. Welcome to episode one of what I will be calling from now on officially Fluff Hunters. Episode one, it's when we're gonna be examining the fluff behind the units, the um, various cultures, and whatever of the Warhammer Fantasy and 40k games. Um, possibly some other games if I ever get into them. But we're going to be looking at what makes these armies, um, you know, fluffy. And what, what is their story and why, why would you, if you like a color scheme or if you're interested in the background, why would you why would you collect that kind of army? So today I'm going to be looking at the Empire Army and more specifically the city-state of Nome. For these I'm going to be looking at three resources. I have a Warhammer Empire or Warhammer Warhammer-Empire.com which is a really great resource for, for fluff. I'm also going to be looking at the Uniforms and Heraldry book for the Empire hardcover book which they sold for a little while. I'm not sure if they're still selling it on, online but Hopefully they are on the um, Games Workshop website. And also, this uh, it's not hard to find, but it is uh, no longer in print, unfortunately. You can only find it on eBay. Um, it's called, so you can read it from the side, Sigmar's Heirs Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 2nd Edition. And on the cover it has this twin-tailed comet and seal and um, a map of the Empire in the background. So... Um, yeah, if you collect Empire, if you like the Empire Army, but you want something different and you get one of these, um, you want to go with Nuln because they have lots of artillery, they have lots of, I mean, they're, they're the capital of the Empire when it comes to producing the cannons and the steam tanks and the, all the artillery. So if you've been watching my engineer video, how to paint an engineer, my, my, my fluff and my background for this guy is that he's uh, in, an instructor at the engineer school because he's an engineer so he's an instructor at the engineer college college of engineers a professor if, if you will and he's got all these radical new ideas and he's speaking out against um, against not not educating the masses and the poor people of the empire and so the countess is kind of like saying oh that's very interesting you have all these theories why don't you join this army that's going to fight uh, against a chaos or orc and goblins or beastman army and just keep sending him out on campaigns hoping that he's gonna die <laughs> but uh, he keeps making it so I kind of like that that fluff and background for this personal guy but let's talk about the city itself <clears throat> the city-state of Nuln is home to the Imperial Gunnery School where most of the cannon mortars and handguns in the Empire are forged and um, and let's see Nuln has also some of the oldest and highly, most highly esteemed universities in the Empire, surpassing even Altdorf in this regard. So it is like the cultural seat of the Empire, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> in former times, it was the Imperial capital, and the Griffin and the Twin-Tailed Comet were Magnus's, Magnus the Pious's symbols, and they are still used on the city's banner and heraldry. Nuln is a great focus for trade. Goods from the dwarf holds of the mountains from the southern provinces and even from Tilia. Tilia? I guess that's supposed to be Italy? Um, in, I guess in real life. Flow constantly onto its marketplaces. However, as a result from... As a result, the city has often been in the front line during goblinoid invasions. The armies of Gorbad, Ironclaw, and Bromba Ponch of Misty Mountain both sacked Nuln. And going into the fluff, if you want to think about doing something interesting for your general or your leader, there is no elector count of Nuln, but Countess Emmanuel of Wissenland holds her court in the city. She is also Chancellor of the University, although this is a purely ceremonial role, and she's known for her extravagant parties. Uh, 
The gunnery school is probably the most important single factor in Nuln's economy at the vast forges and refineries metal ore from the mountains is transformed into precisely made weaponry, handguns, pistols, cannons, and mortars sold to the other provinces for considerable profit. Uh, like the School of Engineers in Altdorf, many expatriate dwarfs work in the gunnery school, so that might be an awesome little thing to have in your army too, get a, put a dwarf in as an engineer and just say that he's contracted by the city of Nuln to, to uh, be an engineer for your empire army. I think that'd be a great way to uh, have alternate models in your, in your army. Um, use like a dwarf engineer model. So all that is from WarhammerEmpire.com. So now I'm going to flip open the Empire Uniforms and Heraldry book to see what they have to say about it. Famous for its ancient academies and industry, known as the home of the Imperial Gunnery School, of course, we just said that, the uniforms are black. Although whether this is by the age-old design or more practical needs to hide the soot from fighting alongside so many cannons, or even being from the polluted city itself, is uncertain. The city banner depicts a golden lion holding the scales of judgment, a symbol of Verena, goddess of learning. So there's a little bit of, um, of contradiction there because the website WarhammerEmpire.com says that the symbol is a, it's like, did it say it's a griffin? Let's look back at the website. The, oh, the griffin and the twin-tailed comet were Magnus's symbols. Maybe, maybe that's why. The actual uh, city of Nuln, maybe the ancient tradition of Nuln, the, the original city design, is that of a lion holding the scales of judgment. And yeah, so Verena is the goddess of learning, and um, so 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 even though Sigmar is like the overall god of the empire, Verena is studied and worshipped over in Nuln because of how many um, colleges and universities and just the, the type of culture that they have there. It's not as militaristic and uh, Hail Sigmar, as you know, Altdorf is. A blindfolded maiden carrying the scales of judgment is another popular motif amongst many units of Nuln. And other symbols on regimental shields and banners, for those of you interested in freehanding work, are cannons, the famous bridge of Nuln, and variations of the lion. And it says the Imperial Gunnery School um, casts nearly every artillery piece employed by the Empire. So just about every cannon and mortar and any kind of artillery piece your Empire Army has was made in Nuln. And they're lovingly maintained by their crews, frequently bear the names evoking great heroes or battlefield virtues. And they're sometimes painted or engraved onto the barrel or carriage. Some revered guns have seen centuries of noble service and have well-established reputations. So you can have a cannon that you can paint up and um, have like engraved or or you know embroidered nicely gold embroidery on it that depicts old past victories ancient traditions and right next to it you could put like a shining gleaming brand new recently forged cannon um, and just the two of those next to each other would create an interesting sight on the field um, for for those of you interested in painting and um, taking a look at the Uniforms and Heraldry book a little bit more, you can see that... Let's see if I can... Red seems to be the predominant uh, off-color, or complementary color, I mean, next, next to the black. Red with uh, little flashes of yellow, flash of yellow to set it off. Um, red, cream color, but you've also got green here. So it, it seems to be like whatever unit these guys are in. Uh, this one for the side, these guys have blue, red. So um, it, it really is predominantly, you get you get your guys predominantly in black and then and then you paint the, the slashes or the inside jerkins or the shirts of inside the uniforms. You paint that a complementary color and then you can differentiate your swordsmen, your spearmen, your halberdiers by, by whatever flash of uh, inserted color you have. Okay, so now I'm going to take a look and see if there's anything interesting in the um, Sigmar's Heirs book. 
And what's interesting in this is that Nelm does not have its own insert, but you have to actually look in Wissenland or Wiesenlund because um, Nelm is located in that province. So it says, Nelm is the empire's second city in population, but first in social life and the arts. The, a statement that usually describes it is the crown that glitters with a thousand jewels. Oh, Maki's going crazy. Sorry, if you if you hear that, my my cat is he has midday madness right now. You're running around behind me. Uh, it is the home of the Imperial School of Gunnery. Blah 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 blah. The University of Nuln is an ancient institution dating back to the earliest days of the empire. Its scholars are regarded as among the finest in the world, and wealthy parents send their children from as far away as Arabia to study there. So a lot of different world cultures at the university. It's a city-state technically free of Wiesenland, but still owing allegiance to its elector count, who is Emanuelle von Liebwitz. Still beautiful in her middle age, she loves Nuln and spends almost all her time there, giving grand balls and hosting dinners that last for days. She barely conceals her contempt for the poo-faced burgers, not hamburgers, but rich people burgers, and the utter boredom that tortures her when she has to attend to provincial business. So that's a very fluffy character to have in your army um, if you have Emmanuel von Liebwitz actually taking part. For some reason, you'd have to really drag her drag her to get out there. Um, but but um, you could say she's, uh, she's, she was a, a, um, being escorted from one place to another with her personal bodyguard when she was attacked or whatever, but um, Obviously, she's not a fighty character. She's more interested in attending, you know, parties and throwing the grand, grand balls and stuff like that. Rather, <laughs> mostly you said, no, no, be quiet. Rather than attending to the military needs of her state. But um, yeah, it would be it would be pretty cool to see what kind of conversions you could do. I've seen a great conversion of one of the handmaidens on the the coven throne that they converted to put on a horse and have that be the countess and she's not a she's not a wizard she's not a fighter so really it, it might be more of a you know maybe a unit filler or I don't know how you could justify having that model in your army because she's really not there to be standing out in the fighting um, let's see if there's anything else interesting about known um, the Elector Countess herself is said to have over 10,000 complete outfits. <laughs> the Nulner accent varies from Wissenlander by having shorter vowel sounds and often ending sentences on an up note. So I don't know what you would compare that to in real life, if there's any accents out there with shorter vowels and uh, ending each sentence on an up note. I don't know. I don't know what that would be. <clears throat> Uh, the, the known population is fa said to be fond of garish clothes and jewelry, especially the rich people. Okay, so there's a little dive into the, the fluff of known. I'm going to try to be doing this for um, other, other empire city-states, maybe even other armies, maybe other units and um, whatever culture. So if you don't collect these armies and if you might be interested in starting, this would be a great way to get into um, the background of the army before actually getting into all that other technical how, how hard is it to paint, how much does it cost, stuff like that. If you can get interested in the background of an army then it's a lot more fun to play on the battlefield. So thanks for watching. I think an army of these guys, uh, known, an, a known army would be a lot of fun. Uh, if you haven't ever seen Dave Taylor's miniatures, uh, Dave Taylor miniatures, I think Dave Taylor has a blog and he did an army of known that looks absolutely fantastic he made it look like they are defending the city so he's had he has them all based in cobblestone streets and um, just the amount of detail and conversion work he puts into his miniatures and his level of painting is so amazing so Google Dave Taylor miniatures and check out check it out I think you have to go back a bit because it's uh, an older blog but um, definitely well worth it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any critiques, comments, or anything else like that. And we'll be uh, seeing you in the next video. So Maki, what do you think of the new Fluff Hunter series? Maki?
Maki.